Steve here, Shen RC. I'm going to take apart the RGT rock crawler here, the mini, and I'm going to try the RC four wheel drive motor in there. So I'm just going to take it apart and install it and show you how it works. But first, I'm going to show you the stock motor with the 10 tooth pinion gear I put in, the RPM on it, and then we'll compare it after I put the new motor in there. Stock motor with a 10 tooth pinion gear I put in. I'm just going to check the RPM right now. Mm. 549.9. Next, I'll do it after I put the little micro motor in from RC4 wheel drive. I'll test it again. When installing this little motor here, you're going to have to flip this gear around and put it on backwards so the mesh reaches. You see that? Otherwise, it won't be able to fit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip it around and put it on. Now I'm going to get this all together now I'm going to do the test of it again with the RPM and I'll show you how it runs. Just want to show you guys it fit and like I said you had to put this spur gear on the opposite way backwards to get it to work. Now I'm going to put it in and I'll show you how it works with the RPM then a little test. Just want to show you guys here like with the stock motor the black wire has to go on the positive side and the positive wire goes on the negative side on the motors to get this to work properly I have the smaller RC four wheel drive motor in now with the 10 tooth pinion gear the same as with my stock motor that came with this I put a 10 tooth now let's see if any of the RPMs got slower now on this thing Five hundred eight RPM, five hundred nine. So it did get a little slower. Now I'm just gonna test it out, make a little video showing you guys how it works. I test it out. This is the plank. It's pretty high, like in my other videos. Here goes nothing. Just want to show you guys how steep this really is. I'm going to show you how steep this is by putting the car on it. Look how steep that is. I'll just hook the car up there so you can see it. That's how steep it was and it made it up. So back to the workbench. Well, after testing it, I don't know, I seem to like the stock motor better with the same tooth pinion gear on it that I put. I think just the bigger can, the longer can with the longer magnet, I can feel when I turn the motor it has more it feels like it has more pop in the magnet so I still like this motor better if you could get the 8 tooth pinion gear on it that I'm gonna try next hopefully I could get it to work I think this would be the best way to go with an 8 tooth pinion gear with this so I like the stock motor better than this one but this one works if you just wanna pop in a motor with a 10 tooth pinion gear on it to slow it down a little bit it'll work but bigger better <laughs> that's it motor test thanks for watching we'll see you next time